persistent outbreaks of rain by the time we get to the end of the afternoon here there are localized weather warnings in force and that rain is going to be pushing further northwards as we head through saturday night and into sunday again falling on saturated ground in some places still some uncertainty on the timing low pressure still with us into next week staying unsettled bye bye Live from London, this is BBC News. The Hamas-run health ministry in Gaza says more than 7,000 people have now been killed there as UN agencies warn again about the consequences of running out of fuel. The Israeli military carries out a targeted raid, sending tanks into Gaza to prepare for future operations. The Israeli and Palestinian ambassadors to the United Nations make passionate speeches at an emergency UN General Assembly. Here, the MP Crispin Blunt confirms he was arrested in connection with an allegation of rape. He's been suspended from the Conservative Party. A gunman described as armed and dangerous is on the loose in the US state of Maine after killing at least 18 people in two locations. Hello, I'm Samantha Simmons. Welcome to The Daily Global, where we'll bring you the top stories from around the world. We start with the war between Israel and Hamas, which is centre stage at an emergency session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. The aim to agree on a resolution to secure a pause in the fighting to get meaningful aid into Gaza. The Palestinian ambassador Riyad Mansour called on members of the UN to, in his words, choose justice, not vengeance, and vote to stop the killing in Gaza. The Israeli UN ambassador Gilad Erdan spoke